Okay, this is ridiculous. Where the heck is Ruby? She has been gone for twenty minutes already, and she practically wasted my class time. Hey Mr. Stefan. Maybe she snuck out of class or something. Oh no Max, don't be silly. There is no way Ruby would just be able to sneak out of the school all by herself. I guess she might just still be using the bathroom, but she is taking a very long time in there. So, are we just gonna proceed with the class without her? No, I will give her five more minutes to come back from the bathroom. And if she doesn't come back, I will just send someone to go check on her to make sure she's okay. Hey Mr. Stefan, while we wait for Ruby, can I go use the bathroom real quick? I promise I will be fast. Sure, Steven. You always use the bathroom fast, so I will let you know. Also make sure to see if Ruby is anywhere out there too. Okay. What the hell? Is that a freaking tiger in the school? Holy crap, I've got to get the hell out of here. Ow. Ow. What the heck is with all this ruckus going on outside? Ow. Help, help me. There's a freaking tiger inside the school chasing me. Help. What? What the heck is going on out there? Mr. Stefan, Mr. Stefan, there is a freaking tiger outside of the freaking school and it's freaking chasing me around. I swear to God I am not joking. What? A tiger in the school? Are you serious, Steven? Yes, I am very serious. I was just going to the bathroom when I noticed a random tiger just standing in the middle of the hallway. It then looked at me, growled very loudly and started chasing me around the halls, and I think it is waiting for me to come out of the classroom right now. What? A tiger in the school? Really? That just sounds uh, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that sounds silly. I am freaking serious guys. There is actually a tiger in this school right now, and it was freaking chasing me for miles. Oh my god. What the heck was that? I told you, it's the freaking tiger in the freaking school. I don't know how the heck it got in here, but it is trying to kill us. Okay. What the heck is going on right now? Oh my god! Holy shoot dude. You were right. It's an actual tiger in our classroom right now. What the actual hell is going on? I have no idea, but it's in the classroom and we are all trapped into a corner. What are we gonna do? Wait a second. I think I have a tranquilizer gun behind my desk that I use for science experiments. Well go and get it quickly, because it looks like the tiger is about to leap at us at any second. Okay, I got it. Stand back everyone. <laughs> Holy crap. Mr. Stefan, you freaking did it. You freaking just saved all of us. Yay, that was freaking epic. I've never seen anything like that before. Good job, Mr. Stefan. Yeah, good job. That was crazy. Is the tiger dead? Thanks, guys. And no, the tiger is not dead. It is currently just passed out right now due to the tranquilizer dart. However, we cannot let it sleep here, as it will wake up soon and cause chaos all over the school again. Oh, okay, I see. Well, at least it's not awake anymore to kill us. Yay. I was literally so scared for my life. I cannot believe that there was actually a real tiger in this school and in our classroom. Steven was legit telling the truth. I would have never believed it. Yeah. I told you I wasn't lying. I have no idea how the heck a tiger got into the school. I am still so baffled and confused by it. Yay, me too. I am also wondering how a huge tiger just randomly came into this school. Like where the heck did it even come from? I am also so confused by that as well. None of this makes any sense at all. Yeah. None of this does make any sense. I also have no clue how a tiger could have just gotten into the school. It's so strange that a tiger would be wandering around town all by itself and would just randomly come into a school. It just doesn't seem possible that this tiger was by itself. And you know what, come to think of it, where the heck is Ruby? She still hasn't came back after all this time, and there's no way she didn't hear the tiger running through the halls and growling. Wait a second. You know what? 
I think Ruby may have had something to do with this. Really, Max? Are you sure? Yay. Think about it. She asked to use the bathroom right in the beginning of class, but I think that instead of going to the bathroom, she must have went somewhere else or something since she hasn't came back yet. I don't know, Max. I mean that kinda sounds a little far-fetched. I know that she has done some malicious things in the past, but I'm not sure if she really could have had anything to do with this. Well, I don't have any hardcore evidence that she had anything to do with this, but I am still pretty skeptical of her, considering she has been gone for the past hour and hasn't even came back yet. And a freaking tiger just randomly appears out of nowhere in our school. Like how does that even happen? Yeah. Max does have a point. I don't know guys. This is honestly just confusing. I'm gonna have to ask the principal about this to see if maybe he saw the tiger before or something. In the meantime, you guys can just go home for the day. You will probably have a couple of days off school until we can figure out who exactly caused this to happen. Okay, Mr. Stefan. Thank you. Good luck on solving this case. Yeah. Whoever did it will pay the price. No problem, guys. See you later. Hey, Max. I just heard about what happened at school. Is it true that there was actually a real-life tiger evading the school while you were there? Yes, Dad. It's true. There was actually a tiger that was running around the halls in the school and chasing one of my classmates. At first I didn't think it was real, but then out of nowhere, the tiger actually showed up in our classroom and we were fearing for our lives. Luckily, my teacher had a tranquilizer gun near his desk and he was able to shoot the tiger and get it to fall asleep, so we all ended up being safe. Oh my god. That sounds absolutely terrifying. I am just glad that you are all okay. I wonder how something like that could have even happened in the first place? I have no idea. It was one of the weirdest things to ever happen at my school. Never in a million gogillion years would I expect something this crazy to happen. I am honestly still in shock too. Yay, I know. I am in shock too. I am just glad that you guys are alright and that the situation was handled greatly. I still find it greatly strange how something like this could randomly happen, but what matters is that you are okay. Yay, I know. I am so great. Hold on. Wait a second? Where is your sister Ruby? Oh my god. I totally forgot about Ruby. I have no idea where she is. She wasn't at the school when the tiger came into the classroom, and she hasn't came back either. Oh my god. What? What do you mean she wasn't at the school when the tiger was there? Well, I remember a few minutes before it happened, Ruby had asked to use the bathroom. And then after she left she never came back. And that's when the tiger was heard walking around the school causing chaos. Now I have no idea where she could be. Oh no. What if she is still at the school trap there and is afraid to come out because she saw the tiger or something? Well, nobody saw her at the school. And everybody has already evacuated the school. So I don't think she is still there. Which is making me suspicious that she may have had something to do with it or something. Wait what? You think Ruby had something to do with the tiger? I mean... She could have something to do with it, but I am not really so sure. Considering she isn't here, I'm a little skeptical. Well, to be honest Max, you could be right. But I also think it's highly unlikely as well, since that just seems too extreme for Ruby to do. I mean, how would she have even gotten the tiger in the first place? And how could she have gotten out of the school without anyone seeing her? It just doesn't really make any sense. Well, I would still have my suspicions on because Ruby is capable of doing anything sneaky just to cause chaos and other type of crap like that. Well, I wonder where she could be right now. Maybe I should try calling her and... Huh. I wonder who that could be. Um. Hello gentlemen. Can I help you two with something? Yes sir. We are the owners of the West Side Zoo. And it has came to our attention that a tiger from our exhibit has escaped out of nowhere, and caused havoc in a local middle school. Oh, yeah. My son just told me all about it. He told me how a tiger somehow got into their school and started chasing G students around the halls and almost ate him, his friends, and his teacher. Isn't that right Max? Yes dad. It's true. Well, I am not sure if you are aware. But it has came to my attention your daughter was the one who snuck into our zoo 
somehow got into the exhibit and lowered the tiger out of the zoo onto the streets and into the school. What? Are you actually serious? That sounds extremely impossible. What makes you think that my daughter did that? Well, sir, take a look at what a pregnant camera at the den captured. Oh my god. Are you actually serious? Is that really her at the zoo taking that tiger? What the hell? This cannot be real. Oh my god. You see sir, we told you. We got rare footage of your daughter sneaking into the zoo, and luring the tiger right out of- We noticed after we were looking for the tiger after it disappeared, and then it occurred to me that we have hidden cameras placed all around the den in case of emergencies. So therefore we started checking the footage, and that's when we saw what happened. I know it's hard to believe, but we were all very shocked as well. Luckily we were able to find your address since she said where she lived out loud when she was doing some TED talk with E Tiger as she was walking out with it. But in conclusion, she is the one that did it. You see dad. I told you that it was freaking Ruby. She is such a freaking malicious girl. I knew there was something off about her today. Ever since she left the classroom to go to the bathroom, I knew she had to be up to this somehow. Oh my god. This is all just so unbelievable. It's too much to process right now. Just the fact that my daughter would actually do something like this. I mean she has a history of doing a lot of bad things in the past, but this just takes the cake for the worst thing she has ever done in history. I am so so very sorry you guys. I am extremely sorry that my daughter broke into your zoo and took a tiger out of it. I seriously would have never, in a million years thought that she would ever do something as inhumane as this. And Max. I am so sorry that you had to go through this at school today. I would have never even thought that your sister would ever do anything as crazy as this. I know dad. I would have never thought so either. What a freaking evil bunny of a sister I have. Literally could have killed all of us with the tiger. I know. I really don't know what she was even thinking. Well. The only good news about all of this is that we thankfully solved the mystery of who took the tiger out of the den. But the bad news is that she is currently nowhere to be found at all. Oh my god. That's right. She is still missing. I completely forgot about that. Do you have any information on where she could possibly be sir? No. Not at all. I have no idea where she could possibly be right now. I assume she's out somewhere hiding, or she could possibly still be by the school. But I'm not really sure, Max. Do you have any clue on where Ruby could possibly be right now? Um, I'm not really so sure to be honest. The last time I saw her was when she went to the bathroom and left the classroom. I haven't seen her since after she brought the tire into the school. I assume she could still be by the school somewhere, but that's all I really know. Now wait, hold on a second. Do you think there is a possibility that she could be returning back home right now? I mean, it wouldn't make sense for her to go anywhere else or to completely run away. Since she doesn't even know that we know that she was the one who stole the tiger and let it loose around the school. So I think she might be returning here right now to maybe act like she had nothing to do with the tiger incident. Oh yeah, you're right. Ruby is most likely on her way home right now after letting that tiger into the school. Considering she has nowhere else to go. You know what? That actually makes sense. Ruby definitely has nowhere else to go, and there is no way that she would just stay outside by herself. She definitely should be on her way home right now to tell me that a wild tiger came into her school, and will try to act like she had no involvement in it or something. Okay, so now that we know that she is most likely coming back home, what should we do to confront her about what she did? Oh my god. I cannot believe that I actually broke into the zoo, stole a tiger from there, snuck it out without anybody noticing, and actually let it loose into the school. I am so freaking proud of myself for pulling this off. I am an actual freaking genius. And I am so smart as well. Now since school is cancelled because of the tiger, I now no longer have to do that stupid freaking essay that our teacher was gonna make us do. Screw you teacher. And screw school as well. I am just so happy that I was able to successfully pull this off without getting caught or anything. Okay, I should probably quiet down a little bit so nobody can hear me. But I am just so glad that I successfully managed to do this. I am the smartest person to ever be alive. Okay. Now all I have to do is just go inside my house and go to my dad and tell him all about what happened at school.
and I'm gonna make sure that he doesn't know that I had anything to do with this with my great acting skills. He's totally not gonna know that I had anything to do with this. Cause he's usually so gullible anyways. And so is Max, especially cause he's younger and wouldn't expect anything. Okay. I'm gonna go inside now. Uh, hey dad. Why are there two FBI agents at our house and why do you all look so furious? And why are there two farmers here? Oh, I will tell you why Ruby. Because we all know it was you who took the damn tiger out of the zoo and let it loose inside the school. That's right Ruby. The two farmers are the owners of the zoo where you stole the tiger from. And they just dropped by to tell me some extremely shocking news. You were the one that snuck into the, the zoo and snatched the tiger right out of it. Then you brought it into the school to terrorize all of the kids inside the school and the teachers as well. What in the actual hell Ruby? I knew you had a record of doing bad stuff, but this, this just takes the cake for the worst freaking thing you have ever done, ever. Wait wait. Now hold on a second. How do you know that it was even me? There is no real evidence or anything to prove that I was the one who snuck into the zoo and took the tiger out and let it into the school. Why are you guys accusing me? Now don't you dare play stupid kid. We caught you on camera sneaking into the den and taking the tiger from the rock it was sleeping on and sneaking out of the zoo with it. There is no point in lying because we have all the evidence in our camera right here. That's right Ruby. There is no use of playing dumb or lying about what you did. Because we already have a clean shot of you taking the tiger out of our zoo and using a leash to bring it out. Yep. We all already saw the footage and clearly saw that it was you. So don't play stupid Ruby, because you have been busted badly. Um 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 um, okay. Wait a second. Listen everyone, I can explain, you see. Ruby, why in the hell would you break into the damn zoo, steal a tiger from there, and let it loose into the school and cause chaos like that? What in the actual hell was going through your mind when you were thinking of doing something like that? You do know how dangerous tigers are, and how vicious they could be towards humans and even bunnies like us. Seriously Ruby, I wanna know. Why in the freaking hell would you do something like this and what in the world was going through your mind to pull a stupid, and dangerous stunt like this for no reason whatsoever? Look Dad. I am very sorry for what I did. The reason why I did this was just because I wanted to try and cancel school so that way I didn't have to take an essay in class since I really didn't feel like doing it. I promise that I meant no actual harm in doing this. I just wanted to scare the school a little bit with a tiger so that way they would create a lockdown and cancel the essay. I am so sorry everyone for what I did. I promise I didn't mean any bad harm by doing this. Please dad, you gotta believe me on this. Please. Are you freaking kidding me Ruby? You did all of this just to get out of doing school work. Are you actually joking with me right now? I don't even know what to say. I am extremely baffled that you would think in the slightest that this was an okay thing to do just because you wanted to get out of doing a freaking essay. I mean seriously, what the heck was your actual low process here? Letting an extremely dangerous tiger loose into a school filled with kids? Like what the actual heck Ruby? You do realize that Max, his friends, and everyone else could have gotten seriously injured, or even worse, killed from the tiger. And all of that would have happened just because you wanted to get out of doing an essay. Like this is unbelievable Ruby. This doesn't even compare to all of the terrible things you have done in the past. It's like I don't even know who you freaking are anymore. Seriously, this is just completely mind-boggling. Yay. I honestly don't even know who you even are anymore either Ruby. You freaking cheeky demonic bastard. What is wrong with you? Guys. Look. I am really 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 sorry for everything that I did. I did not mean for it to go this far. I swear. Please dad. I am seriously sorry. Please do not ground me for this, please dad. I'm begging. I am really sorry. Oh? You think you are just getting grounded for this? Oh no Ruby, you are in for a far worse punishment for what you did today. Huh? What do you mean? What is going on? I am sorry Ruby. But you took it way too far. You are going to be arrested for what you did today. That's why these two FBI agents are here. What you did today was a serious crime and violation and such a stupid freaking thing to do as well. So you are going to be taken to jail for a while for what you did, and hopefully this teaches you an extremely valuable lesson. Since obviously grounding you clearly isn't gonna be enough to get it through your head. So, you will be going to jail. 
What? No dad. No. You cannot take me to jail. I cannot go to jail. I am so scared of that place and have heard bad things about it. Please dad. Don't let them take me away. I am really 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 really. I don't want to hear it Ruby. What you did today is completely inexcusable and unforgiven too. I am not accepting your apology, and none of us are going to either. What you did today isn't just a bad thing. It is a freaking crime. So you will be going to jail whether you freaking like it or not. Officers, take her away. No dad. Please don't let them take me. Please. I am sorry. No. Stop. No. Let me go. Please. Stop. Dad. Help me. Stop him. Please. Help. I really hope she really learns her freaking lesson this time. I hope so too Max. Only time will tell.